Hello everyone, Elpoon here, and today um, I actually noticed that I had my 100th video uploaded, so I decided to uh, kind of show you how I go about um, actually uploading videos and putting them on YouTube myself. And this is kind of a tutorial on you know a good way to actually upload videos to YouTube uh, using AVS Video Editor. First of all, if I want you to just ignore, I have XSplit open here, just ignore that, it's for my recording purposes right now. I really do not have a better way to uh, screen cap than XSplit. But the first thing I do here is actually, obviously have my Hotpog uh, Capture Module open here. And as you can see, you know, I have, uh, I'm in the Black Ops Theater and I actually just recorded my uh, episode 3 of the Black Ops 2 Hype series. So, um, as you can see here, once I record it, sends it to one of these folders here, and I have a bunch more actually. And I don't really have a Black Ops folder, so I just send my Modern Warfare 3 one. And after I, you know, I hit Capture and Record the screen, you know, the gameplay or the, you know, the theater playback or whatever. I go ahead and I stop my capture and go ahead and next out of this and that will actually send my video right here I have a bunch of source video spots you know for you know different types of games so it sends my video here you can actually see it's right here the one I just did um, 10 minutes long so what that would then do is I double click this I don't want to give anything away here why it's why it's playing like this I don't know don't worry about it it will be fixed uh, when it gets uploaded and I'll actually go ahead and X out of my deal here and then what I would do now is after I have my gameplay open here I'll actually open up my SoundForge Audio Studio and I will play the gameplay and I will record my commentary over top of it using uh, SoundForge um, just pretty much hit record right here and uh, right now I'm actually recording using my uh, my actual laptop microphone. Usually, I would use my Turtle Beaches or something like that. So uh, that's kind of how that works. And you know, I play the video here, hit record. I record my commentary over when I'm done. I hit close. It saves it here. File, save as sound one, whatever. That's done. I can close out of this. And now that I have my video done and my commentary done, I actually have to open up my video editor here, and it's a uh, AVS Video Editor Studio. And it's uh, actually, you know, it's not a really great video editor program but for what I do just basic you know gameplay commentaries it's perfect you know you couldn't ask for a better one and actually here you know I have uh, you know in my projects I actually have my intros already created and saved as a, as a separate project so instead of going through and you know making my intro and over I can actually just open it up here so I'll open it up my project here and uh, once this actually opens up it will take me straight to the media library and I have a bunch of stuff here you know this stuff you can ignore it I haven't deleted it out yet but you can see here's my introduction and you got the text line right here and if I scroll down you got a uh, music line a picture line and then like another sound line here and I use that sound line for my uh, introduction music so what I would then do is I would go to import and I would go to my desktop and I would find my source video Modern Warfare 3 folder where I sent that uh, you know that uh, gameplay that I recorded to so I double click that and I actually bring this gameplay into my media library and it will show up down here at the bottom right here and then what I would do is I would say import desktop and I would go down and I would find sound one which was my commentary so I would go find that yada yada I click on it open it and bring it in here and I would just pretty much drag this into here I would drag my sound down into this bar here and then that's pretty much where I would go through and play it you know I can drag this you know you got your cut bar you can select the different lines here you can lock the different lines so you don't mess them up you can disable them uh, and pretty much all that so I will, pr would pretty much just you know line make sure everything's lined up you know cut parts out I don't need you know you can add they have a bunch of different transitions, just tons of transitions. You know, it actually shows you what it does too, so that's kind of cool. Uh, a bunch of different video effects. You know, I really don't use any of these. Um, a bunch of text. Uh, that's for that Merry Christmas one for one of my stupid videos I put up earlier was. And you can actually go through and say I want to insert some text here. Um, you can go through. You can edit the text and everything. The animation it does. So I actually have to scroll up here. It's running kind of slow because I have both XSplit and AVS running and my computer is really shitty. So I just drag my text down. Actually, let's just do this. You can see my text right here that I already have here. So say if I drag that text down there, I could actually just double click on this. If it wants to work here. 
Okay, now that I have my uh, text open here, I can actually click on the text. You see I have like my M, my T, my O, all the stuff. You can actually change the font, the size, you know, the animations and everything. So it's really cool. And the reason why everything's blurry here is because I actually have to run this in uh, the preview in shitty quality so my computer can actually handle it. So that really sucks because my computer is a pile of junk. But I'm getting a new one here in a couple of weeks, so I'm really excited about that. Just kind of show you how it goes here. So let me I can press play. And we'll actually go through and play um, my introduction stuff. You can actually watch it. So you can make sure you know everything's working how you want it to. It's kind of jumpy because uh, my computer's full of shit. But that's pretty much how that works there. It's really simple to use, really easy, kind of beginner's video software. So then towards the end here, I'll actually scroll at the very end when I'm done doing everything. And the very last thing I always add in every video is my little outro. I don't know if any of, any of you have actually watched through all my videos and actually seen this. Pretty much just drag that here down in the end. Pop it in there. That pretty much sums up the rent, sums up the video, ends it here. And then the very last thing I do is render it. Which is actually, you know, render is pretty fast. My computer being as slow as it is, I can render about a 15 minute video in about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. So I'll click produce, aka render. Okay, so uh, once this actually pops up here, as you can see, um, obviously, you know, you can choose a bunch of different ones. One I've only experiment, eh, experienced with, uh, have any experience with is the web. So I hit next. And then you can choose like what type of file you want. I always choose a uh, uh, flash video 720p because hot hogs, you know, really only record in 720. Um, 1080. If you do that, it kind of puts lines in your video and it doesn't look as good, doesn't run as smooth. So I click this right here, and then I always go ad uh, advanced, and I change my frame rate to 29.97. I've never experimented with bitrate or anything else. Um, I probably will one of these days, I just haven't yet, so then once I hit next, choose the name, where I want it to go, it always goes to OTM Productions, so obviously, you know, whatever, we don't need to name anything, and then I don't, and then I just hit create, and it will start producing it, yada yada yada, so we'll go ahead and uh, close out of this here, God only knows how long that will take, no, I don't want to save. And then after my video is actually done uh, rendering, okay. So once that's actually done and I get that closed here, um, I actually go to OTM Productions. I double click on that, and my video will be in here, and it will look something like this: a, a page. That's what a flash video file looks like in its raw form. And then pretty much from then on out, I open up YouTube, uh, hit upload video, select that, and that's pretty much how it goes, guys. Um, so if you've never actually used uh, AVS, you know, it's a great tool to use if you're, you know, just a gameplay commentator. I don't really recommend it for montages, and I think it should work a lot better once I get my new computer, and maybe I'll actually get a better editing program. Uh, we'll see about that, but hey guys, uh, this video is for you. Thank you for sticking with me through 100 videos. I really appreciate it. I would have never dreamed this possible. Um, hopefully... I can be looking at 100 more uh, not too long from now. Hopefully I can think of something better to give you guys. But anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on uh, how I actually put videos on YouTube. Thank you.